Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legends of the Wind Waker HD. So now, while we're still here on Windfall Island, there's a few more things I probably should check out. So, let me see about heading up to the top of the mansion to start off and see if I can do anything there. Because I don't really know for sure. Looks like I can do something. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Yeah. Silence! I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and... Uh... Tribulations. To go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Then please, be reasonable. Can't... Uh, can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge I was here. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Arrgh. Foolish man. Now you've made me angry. I cannot even look you in the face any longer. Or I fear I might... I must go somewhere to cool my feathers. Well, what are wretched, unruly postmen? I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo in any Forsaken Fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't care whose letters they are. They'll never reach her on my watch. This guy is absolute garbage. He was poor before. And he swapped places with the rich guy because he paid nothing to get his daughter back and the other guy paid all of his money to get his daughter back. Absolute garbage. What do you need, little urchin? Um... I'd need to leave and come back, probably. Once I find the postman. So let's go see about that. Also, I don't need the thing equipped right now, so I'm going to just equip that. The Hero's Charm. Just so the Link looks a little bit more normal. Now, where would the Postman have gone? Actually, I think I know, which is strange. Because I wouldn't have thought that I would have known this, considering where he, I think he is. So, let's head on up here to the cafe. Hello? Anybody here? Hello, postman. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just... Never mind. No, I agree. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to accept letters from the postman? Who's heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was uh, a most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure of the delivery trade. But, I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postman on his premises. But surely he would allow you in the place of... In the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? Or steed? What do you say? Actually, I'm busy. I'll do it. <laughs> honestly, you... Honestly, you, young man, are a lifesaver. It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. You got the Moblin's letter. This letter has sort of a sink to it. Take it to Maggie. I'm counting on you to put th this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. Well, here we go. Ah, wall. Camera changing. The collapse of society. Okay. Back up we go. Thank goodness I can roll up the stairs without crashing 
into them. <laughs> Logic. But I mean, it's a lot faster to do that, so... I'm just going to ignore you, and go to the items in the mailbag. It's been a while since we've actually needed the the mailbag, so just equip that, and let's go. I have an gift for you. Is, is that, could it be, the letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read this, it, this instant. Um... This is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words. This means, I mean, it must be mean. Can it be? This is his marriage pro 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 proposal. It must be at last. My feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Trudy do de do lu la la. I don't even know. From here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your, your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of love, I give you this. Got a piece of heart. One more for you. No. What? I don't know. Judy Lulu. Treasure it always. Okay, I'm leaving now. Now, can I do the other thing that I want to do? What do you need, little urchin? Okay, well, what happens if I show you the skull necklace? Eh? This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at, at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beautiful <laughs> beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. And what's, uh, and from the looks of it, I'd say you have t about 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be bathing in money yet again, the money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy, filthy rich. Alright boy, I'll give you this as a tip. Now I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. Hey, treasure chart. Thank you, sir. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now look at my filthy riches. Richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. Wow, absolute garbage. Well, anyway. Let's take a look at this chart, then. If I can get to it. Oh, there it is. Number two. Ah! Oh, hey, that's Rock Spire, I believe. So we could actually go over there and get that, and also head to the Forsaken Fortress at the same time, maybe? I don't think I have Mother and Child Isles yet. I, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, and I'll be okay with that. Oh, hey! Another treasure tri tri chart that I haven't checked. 45, that's one of the... the... things. Looks like it's that one? Yeah, it looks like it's seven stars. Okay, that's all of them. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Places. Probably. Uh, but first I think I'm gonna start decorating the island. Because that's something that we need to do, it's gonna take a while. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please, I must insist you do so at my reception counter. Rules are rules. Wow, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You are, you're the young master who purchased my sale at last. With those funds, I have been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, 
It is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I do not that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For if I am to be fully honest, I have only only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if I only if only I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes. That is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money, it would be be like taking candy from m many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out, a real go-getter. Yes, yes, master. Now that I take a longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero of delivery. I have a small request, and it requires the use of that bag. A request? Oh, dear me. I knew it, young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My store is a kind is kind of a general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at an inexpect, inexpensive prices and then selling them with a reasonable markup of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I am a master of the sale. I just need uh, to get some new products. Could you not s seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need you for you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of co a contract. That is to say, it is the merchant's oath. That is what we call... It, yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So as you succeed in trading my product, my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Ah, uh, perfectly. Yes, yes, young master. You are now my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. I will, I give you... To you, my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. We got a town flower. This flower hails from the town of Bright Smiles. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set it to one of the item slots to use it. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my of my mount. <laughs> To build on the f foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you traded with will send his products to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me quite happy. Well, your new trading partners, the trading merchants, are waiting for you somewhere out there on the Great Sea. My dear, that my explanation and explanations are high. Expectations are high. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a whole lot of stuff. Let me... Please. Let's set it to night time and see if there's anything left to auction off. Because I can probably win any auction that happens at this point. Considering I have 5,000 rupees. I will need those rupees though for... Uh, merchant trading, so. Let's see what we have here. Yes, I want to do it thing. Let's do it. Please be something helpful, not a rupee. <laughs> Please. Please. Joy Pendant. <laughs> Oh my goodness, why would I ever want to spend more than a, a single rupee on a joy pendant? 
Yes, I want to quit. I think maybe I do have everything here then. If it's just showing me the joy pendant. But I really can't be entirely sure at this point. Because I am crazy. Treasure chart! Okay, this is probably the last one, if I had to guess. Bidding at 5 rupees. Now, I can't remember how much at a time I need to increase it. I think it's probably... 30 or 40? So... Let's just do that. 53 seconds left. One, two, three, four. Wait. It didn't... It didn't scare them. It didn't stun them. What? Five, maybe? It's gonna be very expensive very quickly then. Because I didn't stun them. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we've stunned them. 100 rupees for something is still pretty cheap, considering we have 5,000 rupees at this point. It'd just be a shame if the treasure chart was for more rupees. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna bid. I'm gonna bid. I can't stop. One, two, three, four, five. I've got the rupees to spend. 30 seconds left. Time's running out, dear friends. Got it. Perfect timing. No, I didn't. What? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. The money's going high. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That'll get him. And I'm pretty sure I've just won by doing that. 227. That's pretty, pretty expensive, but also I have 5,000 rupees, so I might as well do it. I've already put a ton of rupees into the void by accident, so... And I'm sure to get more. Five seconds remain. Is this the end? Oh my goodness. Two seconds left. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it all out. To stun them. I know it's only two seconds and I'm probably gonna win just with the two seconds. But also I don't want them to bid in a split second. 282 for the last trade chart of the auction house. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that's for. And number 18. Oh, wow. It's for this island. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. There's just a few other things I also want to do at the moment. So, let's... Go do this one other thing first, and then we'll have a look at getting the treasure that we just got from the treasure chart. There's so many places. There's so many places. I don't. It's so many places. You know what I'm. You know what I'm talking about if you've played the game before or seen it before. There's just so many places. Hello, sir. Fine night, isn't it? Well, we should look at that. The ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was, or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the, while you have the chance. You can jump on into one of the, into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Okay, well, we also want to get out our uh, bow and arrows. And we want to switch it to fire. Just so like that. And now, if we get into one of the things here, please, thank you. We want to be absolutely ready with our fire arrow ready, because up here is 
the lighthouse with this spinning thing inside of it. And we need to get all the way up here. And then get ready, get ready, get ready. Far into the middle. To return the light to the lighthouse. Which makes that treasure chest all the way over there appear. Cool, so we have that now. We just need to get there. Which should be fairly simple. We just need to get into our boat and use uh, the hook shot. So we can do that. Hop. Okay, we can also get the treasure that we got from one of the... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We can get the treasure that's around here. Just get up here and open this up, please. Please be good. Please be good. Pizza Heart, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. Let's get into our boat and let's get this sunken treasure, which hopefully is not rupees because I paid almost 300 rupees for it. Nope, not that one, that one. D-pad things. Hashtag D-pad things. Can I turn? Maybe. Hang on. Turn. Turn. Okay. Now, salvage. Nope, I missed. Where is it? I need, I need, nope, hang on. Okay, it's a little bit more that way. Got it? Nope. A little bit more forward. Got it. The one time I look at the chart to see where it is. It's a purple rupee. I paid almost 300 for a 50 rupee. Ah, I'm fine. I'm so fine. I'm fine. I am fine. No more questions. Uh, let me... Uh, I guess I'll just go somewhere. So, uh, actually, yes or no, it's fine. I am fine. Ah, I'm just getting confused. Now, which way am I going? I think I'm going the wrong way. I need to turn a lot more to the west. Because I think I need to go to Mother and Child Isles. But there are a few places that I, I could go to, possibly. For pretty much anything at this point, so... Oh, hey, ghost ship! Wow, that was lucky. So, because we have the ghost ship chart that shows us... Hang on. Where is it? I need to, I need to look at it. So the ghost ship chart shows us where which island it will be on or at, depending on the moon phase that's glowing blue at night. So as long as we have that and we go to where it is, if we sail right into it and crash, just like that, as long as we have the ghost ship chart, we get teleported inside. Oh boy. Oh boy. I shouldn't have switched around the item positions. Ah, it's fine. Nope. Got him. And he summoned some more monsters. Oh, he summoned a redead. Can I please hit you? Thank you. Okay, and there's also another one over here, but I also want to take out that. Also, if you're detargeting, it makes it a lot easier to fight things when you've been possessed, which inverts your controls, of course, so. Anyway, that should be pretty good in here. I thought there was going to be more in here, but I guess not. I guess I took out the, uh, what's it called? I took out the whiz robes too fast for there to be much else. Anyway, I love how it looks in here. With the stuff on the floor. The fog. It's so cool. I don't think it was like this in the original version, so this is really cool. Maybe it was, I don't know. But anyway, while we're in here, we should probably get the rupees that are in these pots before opening the chest. This will pay back for the... The... Auction. There we go. 
But yeah, if you don't have full rupees, you want to open those pots first before opening the chest, because once we open this chest and get a piece of the Triforce, three more to go, we get kicked out. And now the ghost ship is no more. So that's, that's the end of the ghost ship. Now, where is the mother and child isles? Over there. Only three more pieces of the trifles left. We're getting close. Just a few more things left. Also, I could have gone to Rock Spire, I just realized. That's fine, I'll probably go there in a minute, actually. But first, let's go all the way over here. Because there is a new figure here. That we that wasn't here before. And it might look like a familiar looking character if you played a Zelda game before. Um, let's see, we need to get out the flower that we got. I'm what's called a traveling merchant, just a poor wanderer cruise, uh, cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts, new and old, strange and unsettling. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way. So it seems as though I won't be able to get much further. What a disagreeable turn of events. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home to your rare and unique items. If you have any curios that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Someday I'm going to open myself a shop. A, a huge shop. No, a mega superstore. I'm trying to find goods to sell. So can you show me what you've got on you? I've got this flower. Huh. Why, well, that's... A town flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sea flower? Sure. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be... Yeah, that'll be 20 rupees on the dot. That's a deal. Thanks. That squares us. Here's your item. As promised, hold out both of your hands. You got a sea flower. The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far off land. If you find a place to put it, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set the flower to a, a button to use it. So, by trading your goods for my goods, you and I have formed a merchant's oath. So, from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my products to the Windfall Island shop. Thanks again. So now that we've done that, we can actually tr uh, go back to uh, the merchant on Windfall and he'll sell sea flowers now, as well as town flowers. I don't believe this chew is going to give anything extra to me if I kill it now since I've already taken its blue jelly. I'm pretty sure, at least. Yeah. But anyway, let me see what happens if I want to trade you a sea flower. Huh? Why that's a sea flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this town flower? No, I would not. So I'm gonna say no to that. Are you sure? Don't come crying to me if you regret your decision later. Well, maybe we can find another merchant to trade with. Since there are more than that, just the one. Somewhere in the world. Now, I also need to head to Rock Spire, which is more this way. I think that's it there, probably. So let's do that. I'll head to the Forsaken Fortress later, once I've done a few other things. Now, where is it? There it is. Let's go pick that up. Did I got it? I got it perfectly. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. A 
piece of heart. Wow, three so far. Getting closer to that 17th heart. But anyway, we also need to head over to Great Fish Isle now. But anyway, I believe that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.